Hello, welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy Home Organizing, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. Things are going back to normal. Things are opening back up. Restaurants are opening. We're getting to go back to a normalcy again, or at least what will become our new normal. So one of the first stores that opened that I was anxious to go to was Ikea. I did a video a few months ago about affordable storage solutions at Ikea, and I wanted to follow up on that and give you some more options. However, when I got there, I had to change plans. So let's get started. The minute I pulled into the driveway of Ikea, I realized that my plan was going to need to change just a little bit because as you can see, there was a line going around the building and then zigzagged in front like an amusement park ride at Disneyland. So this wasn't going to be the same trip that I expected. The amazing thing was, as soon as I got in line, they were super sweet. They were handing out umbrellas to keep us in the shade and giving us water. Once I got inside, I also realized we would not get to review things like normal. They have all of the rooms blocked off, kind of like a museum. So instead of really getting to interact with the storage solutions like I normally would, you're really just looking at the presentation. So I wanted to show you what the rooms look like and kind of talk about some of the things that I see from afar that I think are great and some things that you could probably use or get an idea from. So Ikea usually will take a small area and they usually keep their spaces under a thousand feet and some of them are as small as 325 square feet and they show you how to pack a punch with a lot of storage. This particular room used to be a craft room. They've switched it up a little, but this particular unit is my favorite. The table portion is on a hydraulic lift and it closes these shelves up. It lifts up and latches closed so it is invisible. Whatever's on those shelves gets hidden away. But when you need the table space, it pulls down and allows storage also underneath. And this is under $200. I think this is $169. So I love this piece. And because of the hydraulics, you can use it if you're in a wheelchair. Let me apologize ahead of time. My garage is where my office is and where I do my YouTube videos. And regrettably, it's a hot day in Southern California. So closing the garage door is not an option. So I do apologize in advance for all of the outside noise that you'll hear. But basically what I'm showing here is that Ikea has a ton of furniture solutions and the price points range from under $200 up to over a thousand. So no matter what your decor style or size is, they will have a piece of furniture to fit it. And as you can see, there were very few people inside. They were doing a great job keeping us all well within six feet apart from one another and only letting a few people in the store at a time, which is why the line was long. They have a lot of different table ideas. All of these come with different sizes, but these little tables start off at just $10. I saw this industrial piece and thought it was a really cool item for $140. There is a ton of storage inside it, but it definitely has that cool industrial look, um, but it could also go with the farmhouse look that's so popular right now. But I really like the storage that it offered inside where you could still close it off. Another item I found for $139 that I really liked was this hutch. And I liked this because you could either use it in an office, a craft room, but you could also get away with this in a kitchen. A new item I also found were these shelf hangers. And as you could see, the bracket fits completely over a shelf, so it's not inhibiting anything, but it gives additional storage underneath at $12. One of the things Ikea is best known for is the ability to customize desks and tables. And I wanted to show this wall while no one was there so that you could see how inexpensive you could create a table with and how many choices there are. 
Their smallest tabletop is four feet by three feet, and it starts at $9. And then the legs come in a variety of finishes and widths and styles, and they start at just $4 a piece. So you could create your own custom table for right around $25, and then the sizes and finishes go up both in style and prices from there. But the amazing thing is you can mix and match all of these. So you could have one side of just two legs and then you could begin to have a variety of storage options for the other side. Now these storage cabinets are one of the great things too because these could act as legs. And again, they have so many different options. So some of these are around $50. Then you get into more decorative pieces like this one that's a more traditional style. This one was right around $90. They have wider varieties if you have large plans or if you're working with fabrics. But then again, you always have those inexpensive options like these mesh baskets that could act as legs for only $15. This is one of the reasons I genuinely do love Ikea because you can go in and match just about any budget and still meet all of your organizing needs. The next thing that we got to walk through were the bedrooms, and again, it being roped off made it feel very much like a museum, but I loved what they did here with some curtain shears creating a canopy. I thought that was really pretty, and I've always wanted a chandelier, so this one just definitely caught my attention. But if you ever get a chance to walk in, looking at the way they take space and create storage is amazing. So for this, they created two wardrobes and flanked it on the bed to make it look like the bed's built in and it's such a smart way to give you a lot of storage without taking up a lot of extra space. Here's another one where they put the wardrobe in the corner and then use the dead wall space to look like there's a recessed nook for the desk. This is a great farmhouse style. I love this little garland that they made out of a lot of different plants, but I also like the storage bench at the end. Now I've talked about dressers before for storage and I really like doing that because they're usually very deep. I'm trying not to touch, so I'm going to use my foot here, but these will hold so much you guys. If you put a few shoe boxes in here, you can really break down categories. They're also great for storing plates, storing pots and pans, platters, uh, if you've got knitting supplies, sewing supplies, crafting supplies. If you're designing a space and you need storage, I would always keep a dresser in mind. Uh, they're just so versatile and they don't need to be just used for clothes. So if you're designing a dining room, a kitchen, the top can be used as your island, but in a craft room, it's a fabulous way to get a lot of storage and still have something that looks very pretty and have a place to display things or have more storage space on top. The other thing that IKEA has is a lot of different handle options. So they have basic pine dressers which is nice you can finish them as you want but then you can upgrade the handles and these I've seen at higher end stores these were only three dollars a piece for these leather handles. Now we're crossing over into kitchen land. What I really love about walking through Ikea like this is getting a lot of different ideas and they really pack in so much versatility with the lines they carry, but also creative ways to use this. So here's a wall storage unit that they had. And what I really love about this is it's just a system that you attach to the wall and then there's brackets for the shelves. At the top, they used inexpensive metal brackets for storing all of their extra pots and pans and storage things. Then they used pretty shelves for the lower shelves where they would have supplies in a kitchen but you could do this for crafts. They used a pegboard or a bar to store the things most often used and then a deeper shelf to give them a workspace area. Then the bottom areas resumed as storage. That was just such a smart use of space. This kitchen was just one that I love. Can you see all that lighting inside that cabinet? That is my dream craft area someday. But looking around their kitchens, you will never see any space missed. Do you see they used floor planks on their wall? I love that, that means I'm not alone. 
This was the countertop I really wanted when I tried to use the floor planks. It just didn't work out. Now we're going into storage bins. In the kitchen department, they have these plastic storage bins that are so similar to the ones that you would get at the container store for a fraction of the price. I've shown these before, but I think they are just amazing. They are really heavy duty. They're super sleek. They hold a lot. I just, I can't say enough about these, and they have them in a couple of different colors. But also in the kitchen center was this hanging hutch just the back portion of it but for 50 excuse me for $60 I thought that was, was a really versatile thing that you could use once again in a storage area in an office or if you're trying to get more space out of a kitchen it basically comes with three different shelves and then the bar across the bottom can be held for pots and pans utensils or any craft items the next area we came into was intended to be their garden area, but I love looking at the different containers because with them always coming in different sizes, you can use these in so many different ways to store things. And there are so many designs that you're just about assured to find something that will fit into your design style. I was very excited to see this color because this is the blue I have in my office. I noticed that this color is starting to come back while I was going through Ikea and that makes me very, very happy. These larger planters are great for sorting out supplies that are going to be out. So you could have papers and books in here and then have some of the smaller tins you just saw resting inside. These wooden planters would be just great for that as well, but you could also organize different crafts or items in the kitchen. You could even have these in the laundry room to just sort out all of your different supplies. And these would be really nice looking out and still conceal everything that's inside and allow you to have super easy access to it. Now we're going into the little storage containers. You've seen these jars before because this size that you're looking at right now are the ones that I have in my craft room, but now they've expanded their line and they have a couple of new ones. These little mini jars are adorable and I like that they have a tight seal. These are the jars that I have in my craft room. They are not airtight. But this is a new one. I love these tall ones and this is going to be on my wish list. I also noticed it was just a resting lid, but they do have these various sized mason jars that are airtight, great in the kitchen, but also equally effective in the craft area. As it segues into kitchen supplies, I've spoken of these Lazy Susans before, but for $13, getting a 15 inch solid wood Lazy Susan, I think that's a great buy. I know a lot of you don't have IKEAs available and I am so sorry for that. I'm hoping that they ship more internationally, but I just wanted to give you a really good look at all the things they carry and the affordability of it. Most of their plates are around a dollar or two each, but you can get a full set for right around $20 if you buy. I didn't realize they had so much fabric available. I guess I've never really looked before, but they sell fabric by the yard that coordinates with whatever style fabrics they have in season each time. So you can buy these by the yard and coordinate it with the existing pieces they already have made up. This happens to be their pillow and blanket section. And again, these are more just for decor pieces around the house, not for the bedroom, but you could use them anywhere you wanted. I was trying to come through as there were a lot of people coming in this one spot and I was very much trying to stay isolated. So I'm gonna quickly take you through their lighting, but the lighting you could probably spend two hours in alone. They have task lighting, they have the LED lighting, the strip lighting, undermount lighting, can lighting, pendant lighting, wall mounts, hanging chandeliers. If there is a light source that you can think of, I promise Ikea has it and the prices will be unmatched by anyone else. I hope Ikea sees this because I would love for them to do a deal with me. I am there so often. Uh, sadly, this is not sponsored, not encouraged by them. I'm just truly a lover of their store and I think their products are unbeatable. This is my favorite department. This is the home organizing space and I love coming in here. So I'm going to take you through a little bit section by section, but we're going to start off in the raw woods. 
And the thing I like about the way they display things is you can really get whatever type of material you want. And once again, the price points are so affordable that you can really do just about anything you want. And if you find an item you like and it's a little higher end, I promise you they'll have something similar to it in a similar material that ends up being less expensive. So we go from the wood to the wicker. The wicker transitions into the heavy cardboard boxes that are fabric lined. And these are huge. These are 18 by 18 by 18 size boxes for $3, you guys. I don't think that can be beat. They also have the sturdy plastic boxes. Then we get into desk supplies for storage that are wire and they've introduced this new industrial line which I really like. That's the heavier wire with the wood mixed into it. Then we also have the raw wood that can be basically created into anything you want. I like these because you can cover them, paint them, leave them as is, decoupage, decal, the sky's the limit. This paper cardboard is what I use in my own office. This is the Tina line. It's T-J-E-N-E. -E. And my blue is back. I'm so happy about that. Here's similar boxes to what I mentioned before in the kitchen area that are like the container store, but about $15 less. And look at how big this is. I don't think you get the full idea of the size of these boxes and I can't touch anything otherwise I would show you but these also come with lids included which is very nice. Those were just a loose display so I'm going to continue with the Tina brand and again these are just cardboard boxes that have a really nice paper finish on it And as you can see, there are so many designs. These actually have a linen on them, so they're a little bit higher price, but the rest of them are just a paper finish, and they always are coming out with new designs, new patterns, new colors, and when they clearance them out, they really clearance them out. So here's the standard white that I speak of so often. They've got some crazy patterns this year, but they are very much fun. They always carry the black and white. <gasps> and there's my blue. I am so excited that they are bringing my blue back again. So the Tina brand, I highly recommend. I have had mine now for just about five years and they have held up so well. It looks like they're calling the blue the Palra now. So I'm not sure why they're giving it a new name, probably because it has a slight texture to it but it is the same color as what I have in my office. So storage options galore. From home organizing, we now go into wall storage and ways to display things. Their pegboards are great and they have a couple of diff different options. But what I really like is you can customize them and really just buy what you need. So if you just want to get a pegboard with a couple of shelves or a couple of hooks, you can really pull this off for about $15. I also like that they have so many things on display that you can get ideas of ways to use them. They have simple hooks, open bins, open shelves, and something that I think would actually be really beneficial is they have these little bungee cords. So if you have something odd shaped and you want it up on a wall so you can easily grab it, you can just slide them into the bungee cords. And of course these little closed containers pull out so the bracket stays on the wall and you just slide the bin right back in. You guys, I I wish I could have really touched and shown you how these things work, but I'm trying to stay COVID safe. Next is closet organization and the ideas they have in here are really fun because you can buy things that you can attach to a wall or freestanding. And when I saw this particular freestanding unit, it's a little pricey at $170, but my very first thought with this was craft room. Look at all those bins. You could put cardboard on the inside so that things look clean and pretty and you can match it to your aesthetic. Those bars would be great for hanging your deco mesh, ribbon, wreaths, 
fabric. Oh my gosh, I think this would be so great in a storage room. And when you, can, when you consider those big craft boxes that unfold are about $1,200, I think this would be amazing in a craft room. And if you could spread them out a little farther with a longer bar in between, you could have a table underneath. From closets come the kids area, and this little spot was always my children's favorite spot to come through at Ikea. It's closed now, but every single time this was the way we would get into the kids department is through this secret entrance. But if you get to go to Ikea, check out the kids spaces. They are really the best here because they find so many different ways of breaking down categories for kids, whether because kids are going to have clothes, toys, school supplies, and they really break them down. So take your time and look through the kids' areas. They also have things that are so much more vibrant and fun for patterns. And isn't that what we sometimes want in a craft room is something that's just going to make you feel good? The storage bins they have, again, because they're fun, and meant for larger items are a great affordable option. They're getting rid of the pink, so right now at $2.50 a bin, what a steal. So many small storage solutions in this area. It's not matched in the others. I really find the kids area to be the best place for what I use for craft storage so many different sizes and varieties and the amazing thing here is so many of these pieces fit inside of others so you can nest things inside these three packs are really cute for smalls but they also come in clear so you don't have to be afraid of it being too vibrant and too eclectic looking they just about always have a white or clear option available within here to keep it more grown up Again, so many storage options. And these larger bins, you can buy the lids separately. So if you want open bins, you can get them for about $4. If you want to add a lid to it, they come, uh, it will bring the price to about $6. But even their wardrobes that they have for kids come with shelves on the inside and bars, and you can always add shelves. So these are great cabinets to customize for your storage and it's a much more affordable price than what they have in the grown-up section. So don't skip the kids area if you're going to Ikea and you're trying to find storage solutions for yourself, whether it's your kitchen, garage, bedroom, or your craft area. These particular units are my favorite. They're super affordable. I think the least expensive one is $30 and then they go up in price. They also have different finishes. But I like these because the rails come with it, but you can adjust the size. You can either have deep bins in here or you could put shallow bins. I had this exact unit and I used it as the stairs for my kids' bunk beds, but this unit is my favorite, especially because you can have all of this storage beneath it. It's $40. You could put all of these inexpensive bins in and then with a cushion on top, this would be a great bench seat with all of this useful storage beneath it. Now we're gonna go into home decor. We're gonna start in the candle section and then start looking at some of the other fun decor. This is where you can get lost for hours because they have so many different things to look at and so many different price points. So I'm gonna back up here just a little and get back over to candles. I like using candle holders for plants and again for sorting out tall things like brushes, scissors, utensils in the bathroom where you've got beauty supplies. So check out those options because once again they're usually much more affordable than going in the larger storage areas. I've always loved Ikea's lanterns. I think they're beautiful, they're very inexpensive, and again, based on your budget, you can either get something that's really cute and small. These are about the same size as my hand for only $4. I love this industrial one. Then they go into a medium size here for $10, and then they get into the much bigger one at $15. I'm giving you a perspective with the one that's about my sized hand. I almost touched, I stopped myself. This was the $4 one, and as you could see, 
The small one is about the size of my hand. Look at the size difference to that big lantern for only $15 tons of frames and artwork that you can take. So if you don't have an Ikea close by you, you can still get online and look at the amazing things that they have. They still have rooms laid out online that you can look at for different ideas. But if you have one and it's a few hours away, make a day out of it sometime, grab some food, walk through Ikea. I promise you will enjoy looking at all the amazing ideas that they have, different options, the inspiration that you can get from just looking at the things that they have is so much fun. Now rugs is a world of its own. You guys, I tried to just stand here and take a full 360 view of their rug area. I am in awe of how many options they have, starting with teeny tiny doormats at $2, going all the way up to full room rugs for a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, I'm always amazed. I can always find something here that actually fits my budget. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I try and stay pretty frugal. Now I saved my favorite room for last, the as is section. Now they were only letting five people in at a time. So I took a little peek at just the entrance. And this is where they usually have the larger pieces of furniture. But then when you go inside, my two favorite places to go are the large table section. These are going to be for tabletops. They're usually doors, but I love using these as tabletops. And they're usually under $10. And then they always have a secondary section where they have doors to cabinets. And I get these as low as a dollar sometimes. Here's a pretty piece of driftwood type wood. And I'm going to flip this over in a second so you could see it without touching it. But once I got to the price tag, I found out that this was only $2. And this was about a four foot piece of wood. As they take down their display rooms, they always have the rugs available at at least 50% off. Chairs, tables, anything they've used in any of their display rooms, this is where they come. Also, as they're clearancing things down, they'll put the remaining boxes available for you at a discount price. These were locking file cabinets with storage drawers for $29 a piece. Again, if I had a client right now who was looking for these types of things, I would have been gobbling all of this up. Here's another big table for $25. Oh, for $14. It normally would have been $25. Now it's $14.99. You never know what you're going to find in the as is section. Sometimes I walk in wishing I had a U-Haul. Other times I don't find anything. But when the when you see boxed items, they'll usually show you what the finished item is and they'll show you why it's marked down. So this was a $400 storage unit down to $99 because it has two little chips and the cardboard was ripped. So if you haven't been to Ikea, the way it works is when you find an item you like, you get an item number. So you could see the 402.758.46. When you're in the showroom, it gives you the number and then it tells you the aisle and bin number. So you can walk straight to the item and things are laid out so easily that you, you can absolutely find it. And then they'll always tell you if you've got one or two or more boxes that you're supposed to take and the cashiers are amazing at making sure you have all of the pieces with your order. You load it up on a cart and then get in a line and normally the line isn't as long as this. And then the closing thing that's amazing about Ikea is they have wonderful snacks on the way out and my favorite are the Swedish meatballs. So I behaved. I didn't buy a single thing from Ikea today, even though I have some things that I wanted. Most notably, I am so excited that they're coming back with my blue again, and I loved those tall jars. I can't wait to get those. The one thing that I saw in one of the display rooms that I never found on the floor was that beautiful garland that they had in that farmhouse bedroom. I didn't see that. But it was okay because I was trying to not touch anything while I was out. This was one of my first forays out since the COVID release and I really wanted to behave. So I also didn't want to stand in that line with all those people. So I left empty handed, but I spent almost an hour and a half in that store still just roaming around 
everyone kept a great distance. The IKEA people that were working there were amazing at making sure people were keeping a distance. They didn't bother me unless I was looking at something for a long time and then they would just say, do you need help? You guys, I wish IKEA would sponsor me because I genuinely do love them. I think they're one of the best stores out there, but I really had a great time. Since the rooms were closed off, I really couldn't get in and show you how some of these pieces worked, what the storage options were on them or the price points. But if you saw something you were interested in, let me know in the comments below. I would love to go back and I'll be able to go more in depth and show you anything that you were curious about with these. Again, I know a lot of you do not have an Ikea close by, so driving isn't an option, but they do ship. For those of you who are watching me out of the country, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully Ikea will start to become more international and you can get access to them. But let me know in the comments below what you're interested in or if you'd like me to showcase anything more in depth. Um, thank With people going back out, I will be getting to go back to work very soon, which means as much as I have loved getting to do videos every other day, I will have to come back and go to my schedule of just a couple a week. I'm not going to say how many I can commit to yet because I am going to try and do at least three, but I have to wait and see exactly what my workload is going to be. But I have thoroughly enjoyed getting to have this extra time with you guys. I feel like I very much got to know you on a more personal basis because I've been chatting with so many of you. I do want to keep the pen pal program up, so if you don't know about that, I know a lot of you don't get to have friends and family around as much. I have opened up a program where if you email me your address, I will send you a card in the mail because sometimes getting something that's fun just can really brighten up a day and I'm happy to do that. If you would like to correspond back, I love getting things in the mail. I do have my P.O. box down in the description below, but you can also, like I said, just send me your address through email. Please don't leave it in the comments, and I'd be happy to send out a card. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you guys in two to three days. Bye.